Hello guys and uh, welcome to the channel. This is Balance again and uh, I'm coming with another video on how to show you guys how to record using the Fia Shadow Play that just came out and also how to use virtual audio cable so that when you're making videos, um, let's say you're in TeamSpeak, other people's voices don't come in your video. Um, the Fia Shadow Play just came out, uh, it's still in beta and um, really the, the difference between that and recording with DX Story is really big. I mean, with DX Story, sometimes you can get 20 to 30 FPS loss depending on what code you use. But with Shadow Play, really the only difference is maybe 2 FPS, 3 FPS, and it goes in 1080p using the H.264 code app. And once you record it, uh, your Shadow Play, or uh, let me say your GeForce Experience latest drivers, open your GeForce Experience. You'll see Shadow Play. Um, one thing I gotta say: make sure you guys have a GTX 660 or above, uh, otherwise you won't have the Shadow Play feature. Now, on default, Shadow Play will be just like this and uh, will be turned off. Click on the top side, and everything will go green. Now, as you can see, 1080p at 60 FPS using the H.264 codec. Pretty good, and for the steps pretty simple pretty easy go to mode I use the first one it's also default works perfectly for me and haven't got any trouble at all now uh, shadow time uh, I keep mine on 20 minutes as you can see 7.5 gigabyte comparing to the X story um, 100 gigabytes with a default codec and yeah that that can be a lot quality I keep mine on high high is really good quality medium and low um, I prefer a high um, you can you can tell the difference, but high is really good. Audio, uh, put that in game. Now you click on this, and you will, and on your appearance you'll see show recording indicator. You can turn it off if you want to, but I keep mine uh, on so I can see when I'm recording and not. Your location, or uh, rather where you wanna save it. Make sure you save it in a file with a lot of disk space if you're planning to do a lot of recordings. Um, this, the file size are pretty small, like I said, it can be 8 gigabytes, 7.5 gigabytes, depending on how long you record, but pretty good. Um, so make sure you uh, put a, a folder. And make sure you have a, a button for when you want it to turn on and off. And that's it really for uh, the shadow play. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, let's go to your virtual audio cables. Now, there's a few ways how you can download your virtual audio cables you just, just search on google and you'll find a way first thing you do uh, install using the uh, or s click on uh, the setup64.exe once you install that restart your computer go to your x64 if you have a 64 bit pc your virtual audio cable control panel .exe once you open this um, your cables will be set to 1 but make sure you have uh, two cables and default is one so uh, make sure you have two the rest I have pretty much default uh, you can keep yours default it works perfectly for me now once you're done with that go to your audio repeater and what this does is basically open open this tab put it on your taskbar because every time you st uh, restart your PC you gotta do this process again there's no way of uh, saving it now the first step Go to wave in, put line one virtual audio cable, wave out, go to your speakers. And then put a second one, wave in line two virtual audio cables, and again wave out your speakers. Now, once you're done with that, uh, the rest I have on default. Um, you press start on both of them, and once you've done that, it pretty much will look like this. Alright, now once you did everything, click uh, right click on your uh, sound icon go to playback devices and pretty much you, you gotta get over here and um, go to line one right click on it and um, basically it's gonna say set as default device uh, and set as default communication device so make sure you put it as uh, both, as, both of them as default and if you wanna see if it's working just click on your mic icon again and drag this up and then you know it's working for sure now, once you're done with that, and let's say, uh, oh no, 
once you're done with that uh, if you have TeamSpeak make sure um, you go to settings go to options go to capture capture device uh, your microphone of course and playback line to virtual audio cables uh, click apply and then OK then you reset with your virtual audio cables and let's, when you open Sony Vegas um, it will basically come out like this um, only your game sound and your, and your video and nothing else and uh, compare it to something like DX Story if you're using filter audio cables for your DX Story you have all these four uh, soundtracks and it's a bit time consuming I found sh Shadow Play easier and um, works perfectly for me alright guys uh, that's it really about how to use Shadow Play and how to record with um, uh, with your Shadow Play and using filter audio cables to make sure your video only records your in-game sound and uh, this is pretty much for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure you like this video. If you have anything to ask in the comment sections. And of course, if you want to, subscribe. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Uh, have a great day.